Good morning, friends, and thanks so much for taking a few minutes to uh, let me give you a little update on what's going on at the parish. First off, happy St. Patrick's Day. I had a, a great day at the parade on Sunday. Saw lots of St. Cecilia folks, including a number of our kids and dance groups. That was beautiful. I only got one letter of complaint uh, as a judge, uh, so that's pretty good. I usually get more than that. Um, and that person ended up being happy after uh, the president of the parade gave a little explanation. But it was a really glorious day, and hopefully we've got something planned for tomorrow. Remember, you can eat meat, uh, but do some other penance uh, as well. Um, I'm going to be at the Gall House, the Mall House at the Gall House, or Mall and Company Gall House, Mall House there on the Pike, uh, tomorrow, probably around 9 o'clock. Um, the AOH groups in the area um, are doing a scholarship breakfast. Um, that's going to benefit kids in, in local Catholic schools, including our own. And a uh, beautiful Irish breakfast, I think it's 20 bucks or something. So if you're looking for something to do, great live music from Joe Mullen. And then St. Joseph's Day. Uh, normally would be on Sunday, the 19th, but it's been moved to the 20th because the 19th is a Sunday. Uh, great and glorious St. Patrick, but also great and glorious St. Joseph, who raised Jesus, who was a, a model man who says nothing in the scriptures uh, except by his example. And in Italy and some other countries, it's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the dads and, and be sure to pray for our dads. Uh, so grateful uh, for all those who expressed interest in my health. As you can probably hear, I'm sounding better. I'm feeling much better. I think the medications all worked and the infection is pretty much gone, but the cough uh, persists a little bit. But praise God, and I hope you are healthy as well. Had our first uh, full finance council meeting on Wednesday night, we elected a, a chair and, and vice chair and Joe Danella and, and Bob Rambo um, have a great team of people uh, who are continuing to help us uh, be good stewards. So all the resources of our parish and, and four standing committees that are going to be there and we'll be continuing to give updates on those things. So grateful for that. You'll see in this email um, blast that we have our first coffee talk coming up. Grateful to Paula Potts for putting that together for those who are grieving. It's going to meet uh, Saturday mornings once a month. Um, you know, later in the morning, 9.30 to 11, uh, just to talk about the things that come up in grief. And, and again, it needs to be dealt with. Sometimes grief lasts a lot longer than, than people expect. So I invite you to join there. There's information there, Paula's phone number or an email. Let them know that you're coming. That would be greatly appreciated. Still need people to sign up for our alumni run at the end of April. It's going to be a really great time, a great way to support the school. Uh, if you have kids or grandkids who went to the school, maybe reach out to them. This is a gr great way to get involved. You know, our school's 100th anniversary is coming up, and we really want to celebrate that, but we need to really make our, our list of alumni more robust. We need the support of our school alumni if we're going to keep going. And, and with that, I need you to sort of find kids to come to our school. We've got lots of empty seats. And so we really want to have a, we have a great quality education here. Uh, Sister Catherine and her faculty provide something that's really beautiful. And in this time in which we're not really sure what's going on in schools, what our kids are being taught, you can be sure that Christian values are not only being taught, but modeled at St. Cecilia School. So tell your neighbors. Um, it's probably more affordable than, than people think. And, and again, that's why we're raising money to keep it very, very affordable. In the back of church, as you exit on the wrong street through the lobby, there's now a suggestion box. So if you've got ideas for myself and the staff and, and our councils, please write those down. It can be anonymous, you know, but we want to hear from you because we want to continue to grow and don't assume that we know everything or that we see everything or that we understand everything. So please do give us that feedback. Uh, and again, we got the Simple Supper next Friday night, which is the 24th. Uh, I invite you to sign up for that. Our, our students and our student council are putting that together and really want to allow them to, uh, this opportunity to serve. So, so dinner is like 530, 6 o'clock, and then We'll head over, have a nice conversation while we eat together. Nice chance for fellowship and then come over and pray the Stations of the Cross. So please do make an effort to join us in RSCP. Uh, grateful to Kelly Rooney and, and some others who are putting that together. So have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day and St. Joseph's Day. The weather is breaking a little bit. Uh, again, grateful for all you're doing to live your faith, to share your faith throughout these Lenten days. God be good to you.